Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Alex. And although I mentioned this in the morning video, I think it begs repeating. So I'm going to do a detailed video breaking down the three biggest issues with Marvel Future Fight right now, right after the update, and really hammering home why the community is so disappointed with these decisions by the devs. It's actually four issues. Uh, and we're going to start off with the one where players could not download the game because there has since been a patch. Uh, it's about four hours ago now, but there was a patch applied. It was about 100 megabytes. If you close the game and reopen it, you'll see it's download and it fixed the problem for some players. It has partially improved the situation, but it has not fixed the situation. And they admit this in the notes here for the patch, which is not a good start, in my opinion. They also added the background music that was missing completely from the Thor legendary battles. Again, seems like they rushed this update. Uh, and then they also fixed an issue where the fourth skill description was not being displayed for the Thor uniform. So yeah, uh, not too much to report on that end, which is unfortunate because, hey, the July update download issue, we will, any further updates will be made on this notice. Well, there are no further updates. There's no compensation and there is no, hey, we fixed the problem for everyone. I still see some people uh, complaining that they cannot get into the game, uninstalling the game, reinstalling the game, all this kind of stuff, making a new account. Uh, this are all hoops jump that, that the players have to jump through uh, because of a problem that they didn't, you know, it's not our problem. It's not our fault. It, this one is squarely on the shoulders of Netmarble. Um, and so it's, it's pretty disappointing to see them fumbling the bag so hard right at the launch of an MCU update. I wouldn't be this salty in my opinion. Well, it's only my opinion, but I don't think I would be this salty if this was, you know, like a Hellfire Gal update or whatever, you know. Yeah, the comics are important and that stuff is cool and you don't want you don't want any update to be bad, but this is an MCU update, right? These are the updates that bring players in. These are the updates that print money for Marvel Future Fight. And not only as a player, but as someone who is almost trying to preserve the game for as long as possible, this kind of stuff pisses me off because this works directly against my efforts and the efforts of so many wonderful people in the community who maintain websites and maintain guides and maintain bots uh, because all that work is going to trash, is going to, to shit basically because the devs are like, nah, well, uh, you know, thousands of people can't log into the game. Eh, well, it happens. Just figure it out. You know, and not really taking the situation seriously and not really uh, communicating properly. So this this one does uh, piss me off quite a lot, even though there isn't really too much more to say on the issue. The second thing that is continually bothering me uh, and, and, and a lot of people in the community for different reasons is the drop rate of books in GBR. Now, I didn't do the best job of explaining this before, and I know some people are going to immediately discredit or sort of um, ignore what I'm about to say because, oh, it's a whale thing and I don't even have to worry about tier four. So why do you care about the books? Well, here's the issue is they've changed the way that it works. See, right now there's a chance up for universal and combat books. That means that you have a better chance of getting them, but you can also get the blast book to drop and tomorrow it's going to change to look like this and so on and so forth. But what they didn't tell us is that this chance up is a one of one as you can well you can see the chance up is one of one but after that chance up you can still get more books you can actually farm all 10 books in one day if you're lucky enough let me repeat that let me rephrase that you can farm all 10 books in one day if you have enough luck enough money which you convert to boost points and you have enough people in your friends list and your alliance who will carry you to do that and I will uh, submit to you uh, exhibits A, B, C, and D, including my own screenshots here because I failed to include them in the previous video. So, oh, you know what? I just saw another person post one on Discord. So hang on a second. I'm gonna update this with another exhibit, exhibit E. So here's the issue. On the one hand, we have players who are able to, with boost points, get two or more books in a single run. We have multiple screenshots from different accounts at different points in time today. This one got three. This one literally got three of a kind in one run with a, a maximum of nine X boost points. And then on the flip side, you have someone like me who, again, maybe I was just the exception. Maybe I got extraordinarily unlucky, but I tried, let's see here, not once, not twice, not thrice, four, five times. And there's actually runs missing from these screenshots where I used boost points and didn't get anything. 
I, in total, spent almost 2,000 boost points just to get one universal book. I didn't even care about the combat book. I was literally just trying to get the one universal book. Now, why is this an issue? Well, obviously, the information for you guys, if you're farming these, is important. You probably should not do what I did. You probably should not spend an insane number of boost points um, unless it is on the day where you're going to, where you're aiming for those books and those books are chance up. That's what it seems like. It seems like the chance up mechanic is a lot more important than I initially thought. And so when the days, on the days where it's not chance up for Universal, spending a thousand boost points is probably a dumb idea. But on the flip side, because they've opened the floodgates now after so tightly controlling exactly when we tier four Iron Man and Moon Knight, and for some suspicious reason, not bringing back those packs that they were selling like they did for Iron Man Vishanti books, they've created a situation where the whales, you know, and the people who have as much money as possible, like I did, but on an extreme level, can can just brute force this and they can farm all 10 books. Now, again, I don't really care if players want to do that with their money. I don't care what people do with their money. I care about what the what the company is doing. And what I'm interested in is what the company, what, what message they're trying to send to us, right? Because the message they try to send with most of the other content is do it at a steady pace. A steady pace is literally the mantra of Marvel Future Fight for 99% of the player base. However, in this case, they decided, you know what? Let's just go buck wild. Let's see, let's test the whales and see how many boost points and how many runs they're willing to throw away. Now, obviously this benefits players who have a really organized set of friends who can like repeat carry them over and over again because you can quit out of a match right before it's over and it won't count your team. It won't use up your team. So you can, I, I could literally pay someone or, or get someone, a friend, to carry me infinitely to do my entire tier three transcended roster. However, I don't think that's in the spirit of the game. So this irritates me on a level that I haven't felt uh, recently in a while in Marvel Future Fight. And I really needed to bring it to the attention of the devs because I think it goes hand in hand with this decision. And this decision is, again, the other one that I forgot to uh, show you guys directly through screenshots in the previous video. But this is, uh, you know, one of my mods, Jess Rainbow, who did 14 runs on stage three of this particular Dimension Rift, the beginning of the storm. And just before the update, it was uh, she was clocking over 400, almost 425 cubes. The exact same Dimension Rift, the exact same team, the exact same difficulty after the update. And lo and behold, we have 65 cubes. Yeah, like I said, it's a difference. It's a drop of 85%. Everything else is pretty much the same. The Rift Stones, the Celestial Essence, the Gold. It's, it's pretty much identical, my dudes. The only difference is the insane drop in the number of cubes. Again, what is the, what is the incentive here? You want players to just do the bare minimum and just just complete the rift and dip? It doesn't make any sense. You wanted players to play rifts, so you filled rifts full of rare items. Now you're taking it back and saying, no, 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 no. We don't actually want you to farm the rifts. We just want you to play them a little bit and then just collect the completion rewards so we can tightly control how much you're getting. It's literally like the, the GBR idea and the comic cube and the, the card crafting cube people switched brains because the GBR one was tightly controlled and the card crafting cube one was like, you know what, do your thing. And now they swap and they're like, you know what, we're just going to go in the complete opposite direction with both of these. So I, I lied or I was wrong. They don't actually relate. They actually relate in the fact that their ideas have been inverted, which both of them make no sense. Go pick one lane or pick the other lane, Netmarble. But going back and forth just pisses off the player base. Like every, all, all the whales, all the player base had agreed, okay, we're all going to get Iron Man on this day and let's go. We're all going to get Moon Knight on this day. Let's go. In my opinion, I like that method because it creates this sense of buildup and anticipation and then everyone gets them at the same time. And then it's just this fun, you know, experimentation rather than like oh did you hear johnny and billy got lucky and then tommy uh, got his mom's credit card or whatever his credit card we can kill the mom's credit card joke he got his credit card and he uh you know bought loaded up three thousand boost points and got uh tr trilly i'm running out of names here he got trilly to carry him and so he has uh 10 universal books and he's gonna tier four thor yeah it's kind of lame he kind of just brute forced his way to tier four thor okay yeah that doesn't really that doesn't really feel cool to me or fun 
you know, wow, he, uh, you know, he got carried, he carried the guy 15 times with the same team. That must have been really fun for Trilly. It's not fun for Trilly. It's not fun at all. So it, it, it's, it's like anti-fun. That's what it is. Both of these decisions are anti-fun, even though they do and they achieve opposite things, right? This, this one is anti-fun because you could min-max. You could min-max your teams and you could farm the cubes and you could see your own progress in real time, day over day, week over week, month over month. And let's be real, most players are not going to need five bazillion crafting cubes anyways because you're going to craft all your cards and then you're going to do a couple of rerolls now and then because it's not raining peak cards. So giving players more of this does, doesn't really matter. It didn't, it didn't really matter. And it was fun to min-max. There's nothing fun about this. There's nothing fun about letting your phone heat up for 30 minutes and coming back to 65 card crafting cubes. It's a hilariously low slap in the face. And we know North Americans hate low numbers. That's why football scores in fives and sevens. Okay. And then this one here is annoying for the exact opposite reason is that players could plan ahead and they could see how much they needed to spend and they could sort of figure things out. But rather than allowing them to do that and rather than allowing them a little bit of order and, and structure, they're like, you know what? Let's do it Wild West style. We're going to introduce massive RNG and maybe you get maybe you get three books on your first run, bro. Or maybe you get zero books in 10 runs. Ha ha ha. Isn't that so much fun? It's not. It's not fun. It's literally anti fun, which leads me to my last point. The most anti fun thing I think I've seen in a long time is this special event shield archive event. Now, before you panic, and rush to do it because of the last one that gave you a premium tier two selector so you guys could all go and choose Morbius. Uh, this new one does not. This new one's rewards are so hilariously bad compared to this one that I wouldn't even compare them as event as, as, as both being shield archive events because they're not. This is a shield archive event. This is garbage. This is some somehow garbage. I mean, this the new Asgard like these things here are cute. And whoever came up with the names and the icons, thank you, art department. You did a wonderful job. Whoever decided it was a good idea to have limited buffs, limited time buffs, I want you to get fired or or take a leave of absence because you're an idiot of the highest magnitude. No one plays a mobile game, a, d a daily grinding mobile game for limited time buffs. You, you got to be out of your mind. Like this is one of the stupidest ideas I think I've ever seen in any game of all time. And why I'm so irritated about it is because if I don't, because I haven't, let's be honest, I haven't been that critical of, of Netmarble and Marvel Future Fight lately. I haven't really been on my, like, on my haterade uh, the way I, I have in the past. But if I don't, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared that if I don't roast the shit out of this garbage, that they're going to do it again with something else, with something more important. How about limited time card buffs, guys? How about we create a limited time sixth card that you can get if you spend enough, if you spend 10,000 crystals and it'll, and it'll buff you your, your cards for seven days. You want some extra peers for Dormammu? Get the hell out of here. Close up your shop and get the hell out of my town. So yeah, I love this game to bits. Don't get it twisted. I'm not quitting the game. I'm not boycotting the game. I love this game, but I really am questioning the, the brains and 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 whoever's in charge coming up with this crap lately because it's it's literally crap it's li it's literally crap so yeah hit me up in the comments down below thank you so much for listening to the rant love y'all love yourself uh, and i'll see you in the next one take care